Hello, this is the setup we're going to use to mow the front yard today. The mower is a Black & Decker cordless. Here's the battery down here. It is wired as a 24 volt battery. There are two 12 volt batteries connected in series. It's a 12 volt, each of them are 12 volts and 20 amp hours. Right now it's given, the way I've got it wired is as a 24 volt 20 amp hour battery and that should last me long enough to do the front yard okay we're going to measure the battery each individual one at its full state of charge there this one has 12.9 volts the other 12 volt battery 12.9 volts also and together of course in series There we go, 26 volts there. Now the state of charge is after I've charged it up with my solar panel set up. And we'll see at the end of the uh, mow how much voltage we have in it. It's been about three weeks since I've mowed. Here's part of the little side yard we have in comparison to our neighbor's freshly mowed lawn. And here's the rest of the front yard. All of this expanse that we're going to mow today. And I probably need to do some tree trimming too. And lots of more yard work. Well, I'm back after 65 minutes of uh, lawn mowing fun. Here's a view of the side yard. Now, I'm going to take a look, walk around to the front. I got about four and a half bags of clippings out of all that time. And this is our left side yard, and I got a bunch of crabgrass over there, and I had to go through over that about four times to knock all those over. Now, in that 65 minutes of mowing, I also got the backyard too, and that's about, oh, 75% of the side size of this uh, our left side yard. So that little cordless mower from Black and Becker had did a pretty nice little job. I've been using that all all this season. I think this is probably the 15th or 16th time I've I've mowed and haven't used a bit of gasoline. Well, this is what the mower sounds like, so you can get an idea. So you can compare it to your gas mower. I can do this with one hand. Now, that was after 65 minutes of uh, mowing. That sounds real strong. I'm going to pull the battery out now and we'll check the voltage and we'll put it back on my uh, solar panel and charge controller and see how long it takes it to charge the uh, battery back up. Okay, here's the battery. I wanted to show you that this is two 12 volt batteries, positive, negative, positive, negative, and it's connected in series to give me 24 volts that runs off to the uh, lawnmower. But for us to charge it, I need to have these as uh, wired in parallel for a 12 volt battery. Okay, I've rewired the battery. See, I got negative to negative, positive to positive. That's in parallel and it'll give me 12 volts. Now, it's been about 30 minutes since I finished mowing. Let's see what the uh, voltage reading is on it now. Well, I'm getting a little rust on here. I shouldn't leave these batteries outside to charge. But there we go. I got, uh, I'm showing 12.1 volts. Now that's versus a fully 100% state of charge of what we measured earlier as 12.9 volts. Okay, finally, we're at the solar panels now. 
This is one of those 45 watt models that you can get at uh, Harbor Freight for a couple hundred bucks when they're on special. And there's the battery. Here's my little charge controller from uh, Morningstar. It's a ProStar 15 with the meter on it. And if I can get in there, we can show what the meter's saying. Or maybe not. <laughs> Perhaps like that. So it's showing a 12.2 battery volts and the panel is putting 1.2 solar amps into the battery. And usually I have this panel right here where I charge up uh, the battery after I mow. And that's a 50 watt panel and it takes about two days to charge the battery back up. But I kind of want to experiment with the Harbor Freight 45 watt panel set using the same charge controller into the battery and find out how many days of uh, full sunshine it will take to recharge my lawnmower's battery. So we'll be back in a couple days. Well it's now 48 hours since we finished mowing and put the uh, battery on its uh, solar panel charger. You can tell it's up to 14 volts now, and it's given us uh, 0.7 amps into the battery from the uh, 45 watt Harbor Freight solar panel already. Yesterday I was getting 1.2 amps, and that's the maximum that these things are putting out even though uh, uh, Harbor Freight says they're supposed to put out 3 amps, but I'm just getting 1.2 at a maximum. I should have another two days now before the battery is uh, fully charged. You can tell by this if I don't know if you can see it, but we're in the yesterday the charger was in full absorption mode charging, and now we're in uh, pulse uh, modulation charging right now to where it's uh, pulsing the current into it. Okay, we're three days into our recharge cycle and it's complete. The uh, charge controller is uh, trickle charging at 13.5 volts now. It's complete to the, uh, the full charge cycle. So let's do a little amp hour math. See if I can get this focused and see what our mathematical estimates are. We started out with 12.9 volts, 100% state of charge. When we finished mowing, we had 12.1 volts, estimated at about a 30% state of charge for a VRLA battery. We use 70% of a 40 amp hour battery, which means we need to put in, put back into the battery 28 amp hours. And given that my little Harbor Freight solar array here uh, gives me approximately 1.2 amps during a sunny day, we take the 28 amp hours we need to put back in divided by the 1.2 amps we get 23 and a third hours of total recharge time now we take that 23 and a third hours divide it by our 5.43 average sun days for the DFW area and we get about 4.3 days to recharge the battery now it really just took us three days to do uh, probably because my estimate for the 30% uh, stated charge might have been uh, very conservative. And also, I took the uh, solar array in the morning. I kind of pointed it toward the east in the noontime. I pointed it south. And, you know, in the, uh, later on in the afternoon, I pointed, started pointing more to the west. So that gains about 20 to 30% uh, improvement in the charge rate which kind of makes sense since we it, it only took us three days versus four days that kind of 25 percent savings on that so we're good to go now i'm going to now try to figure out how to put this thing up on the web <laughs> have a good one